we just worship him let's praise him is our reason for leaving say unto him shall the gathering of his people be our gathering is unto him today it's all about Jesus let's exalt him this is the day he has made we will rejoice and be glad in it father thank you for this opportunity to come again to draw from you thank you for this beautiful day from wherever we are in the nations of the world can we just give him glory he deserves all the honor he deserves all the adoration thank you Heavenly Father thank you for you are the one that has given us the breath you're by your spirit thank you Heavenly Father Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name we have given thanks. For in Jesus' name we have given thanks. Can we celebrate our Heavenly Father? Because I know that this is a double portion service. Can you tell your neighbor that I am in for a double portion? Wherever you are in the nation of the world, we welcome you at your screen because I can assure you that there is double for your shame this afternoon, this morning, whatever the time zone is where you are. Hallelujah. I will read very quickly. Zechariah chapter 9 verses 11 to 12. Is it as for me also because of the blood of your covenant, I will set your prisoners free from waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, you prisoners of hope, even today i would declare that i will restore double to you i want to equally announce to you today 7th 3rd 2021 is a season of completion of wholeness and rest can you ask that in this service heavenly father rest to me double for my shame complete me by the blood of jesus is communion service father as we break bread today let light come let me recognize those decisions i need to take let light come father thank you father for the blood that is speaking mercy over us over our nations and over our lives today thank you because we are delivered thank you because we are set free Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that the heavens be opened over this service. That you do with us as you please. Father, as the walls of Jericho fell upon the seventh day and the seventh walk, let every 
Jericho wall. Let every challenge be broken down today by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because of what you are said to do. We will live here transformed and delivered in Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. Can we celebrate? If you are expecting this morning from your space where you are, if you are expecting because the Lord has set a table before us today, can we celebrate the ministry of House of Judah? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have a testimony, please sit down, Israel, at the foyer. We'll be waiting for you. If you have a testimony, sit down for you. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. God is risen this morning. Let's go. Risen.
name is a wonder walking name. That name has power. Power to heal, to save, and to deliver. Oh, thank you, sweet Jesus. To heal, to save, to make a life, to bring to life. That name is able to heal. Oh, there is power. Healing in the name of Jesus. Break through in the name. Deliver us in the name. Favor in the name. We bless you, Jesus. Oh. Your love was great. 
thank you for not holding back from us. We thank you for your mercies washing over us and your grace ever falling us off on us as a torrent, bringing your goodness, your blessings. Lord, we give you praise and glory. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Roger says, thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. 22 to 24 verses of Hebrews chapter 12. It says, But ye are come unto Mount Zion, unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and the church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. It's good you know where you are so you can access the things that are available. We need faith to connect with what is available in this house. There's so much that God has made available to satisfy you in any, any area of need. Online, we welcome you to, uh, to Rogic. God is going to do amazing things in your life in this service in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray. This is our communion service and a double portion service. In the first service, it was amazing. The open heaven and what God released upon us, massive. I'd like you to pray. Father, in this service, as the blood is speaking, he says, he speaks better things than that of Abel. This blood is speaking healing, speaking deliverance, provision, connection, Whatever it is that you require for this new week, I'd like you to connect to the blood of Jesus, which we are going to celebrate in a short while from now as God's word will be coming. Lift your voice and pray. Father, in this service, let the blood speak for me. In the name of Jesus, concerning that family situation, concerning that health condition, concerning that appointment, Lord, in this week, let the blood speak for me. In the name of Jesus, commit your ways into the hands of the Lord, the Bible says, and he we direct your steps, Lord, by the blood. Make a way for me in this new week. Order my steps. Let I turn to my stronghold, the blood covenant. Lord, today let this blood speak better things into my destiny to bring me to all that you have prepared. Thank you, Father. For in this service, I will see your wonders. Glory to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Give Jesus a big, big hand of praise if you are expectant. And please, you may be comfortably seated in God's presence. We're going to take testimonies. I invite Sister Augusta Achibong and Brother Kende Sunaya, please, to come forward and quickly share with us what it is the Lord has done. This God is such a good God. Sister Augusta Chibang, Brother Kane Deisonaya, please come forward and share with us your testimony of what the Lord has done. We have just two minutes to do that. Brother Shonaya should double up here while Mommy Achibong makes her way. Shonaya, come up, please. I've been calling you. Praise the Lord. One minute. Praise the Lord. I want the church to help me to thank the Lord for saving my life yesterday night. Uh, a trailer bought a goose to my area. So on his turning around to go to drop the load. So he fell down all the poles in our areas, like three poles. So I was standing under the shop, which the, one of the poles was standing. So something just told me that I should go and carry my torch inside. On my way going, I've never even reached where I want to carry my torch. I saw... The, where I was standing, the shop fell down flat. Wow. I was, 
what came out of my mouth was, I was just singing, thank Jesus, thank, I was just thanking Lord for it. I, I was shocked. So, so, about, God will give you a song this week. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Remain blessed. Hallelujah. God will give you a reason to dance this week. In the name of Jesus. What a deliverer we serve. Yes, Mommy Achibon. Good morning, church. Good morning. I'm here to share with you the faithfulness of God upon me and my family. Praise the Lord. First, I want to thank God for what God has used the altar, GPPA, to do in my life. I had... I had a problem with my ear some months ago, ringing. Just one day, one night, I started having ringing. There is a medical term for it. And when I searched, I went to Google to find out what was wrong with me. I was told that uh, by the doctors that I will have to live with it permanently. But I rested on the altar GPPA, and Papa also mentioned healing for me. Then, since then, I have been healed. Amen. What was meant to be permanent the is altar over. Was for you. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Papa, for doing what God has sent you to do in our generation. We thank you, Mommy. Oh, my daughter, I don't call you Mommy call you my daughter. Then this other one, I just want to share with you the faithfulness of God. When he speaks, he causes his words to come to pass. I'm not here to tell you that, oh, we traveled. Yes, we traveled out to U.S. in the month of November, in the heat of the pandemic. And I had to pray seriously, Lord, is it your wish that we should undergo this trip? If it is, let me know. And one of those days, after prayer, God spoke to my spirit. Told me, I never read Psalm 23. But that portion, you'll walk through the valley of death. You shall fear no evil. For my staff and my rod, the comfort. Oh, I was so happy and delighted. Said, yes, God has answered my prayer. But we couldn't leave without telling the apostle. So we called him and told him that we are traveling. He said, okay, let's pray. We didn't see him, but we made a call. So he prayed for us. And one of the statements he made was, I have released you. Okay. I was so happy, fulfilled. He said, yes, my papa has released me to go. Which means God has answered our prayers. We went in, at the time, we went in, the total death toll was at 262 plus, but 1,000. But by the time we left, it had risen to 415. They were dying like flies, but 1,000 shall fall at your side. And 10,000 at your right hand, none shall come near you. That's why I'm here to praise the living yes. God, the God of this good company you, that has never failed us. He took us to the land of the dead oh, and brought us back safe. Praise be unto the Is Lord. Somebody appreciating God and giving glory. Thank you. Father, we give you praise. Thank you. We give you praise. This service is going to deliver to you your own testimony. I'd like you to listen to what she said. The Bible says God performs the counsel of his messengers. He confirms the word of his servants and performs the counsel of his messengers. In this service, a word will be coming your way. Your testimony is connected to you. You won't miss it in the name of Jesus. To take us in this service, let's put our hands together to receive the ministry of the house of Judah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood of redemption. Thank you for the blood that saves us, that transforms us. We're grateful, God. 
thank you, Jesus. Oh, the blood, crimson love, price of lives demand. Shameful sin placed on him, the whole.
the Lamb is indeed our victory. Is anybody grateful to God for the blood this morning? Anyone thankful for the blood? Oh, the precious blood of the eternal sacrifice. Oh, precious is the flow that makes us wide as snow. No other found. We know nothing but the blood of Jesus. Sweet as note in Sarah's song. Sweet as name on mortal tongues. Sweet as of Jesus we bow our hearts we bow our knees with from the depths of our hearts we love on you this unknown hour and we say thank you for you spared not your only son but gave him up for us Jesus said if you will let that cup pass over me but that prayer you did not answer just for me Father, across the nations, we say thank you. We're a most grateful people. We honor your body this morning, and we say thank you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Sweet is Carol. Sweet is Carol. Just love on him this morning. How many of you are just grateful? Grateful. Can we please turn our Bibles to Job 33, 21 to 25? And before we read that, we'll be reading our text for the month, which is found in Psalms 119, verse 18. Hallelujah. Jesus, blessed Jesus. I bring you greetings from Apostle Goodheart, who is presently out of town. Um, this month, hallelujah, we're going to be having four wonder Sundays. Glory to God in the highest. God has loads. If you thought February was good, if you thought you were blessed at Reha, watch out for March. Hallelujah, where we're going to be experiencing the wonders of God in his word. 
So this month, God has a lot prepared for you. You've got to make sure you are in church every Wednesday, every Sunday. For God will do for you in this month, exceeding abundantly, above that which you could ever ask or think or imagine. You would see wonders without numbers. Nathaniel, your eyes will see greater things. Your hands will touch greater things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 119 verse 18, which is our text for the month of March. It says, open thou mine eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. We're going to be reading Job 33, 25 to 21 to 25. I beg your pardon. It's a bit lengthy, but let's just um, endure. Hallelujah. Job 33, 21 to 25. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen. I noticed that um, the person who started service today kidding on that. And his bones that were not seen stick out. Here his soul draws near unto the grave and his life to the destroyers. If there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto man his uprightness or his rights. Then he is gracious unto him and saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. And then his flesh shall be fresher than a child, and he shall return to the days of his youth. This is a story of a man or a woman who is, whose condition looks like that, that is already, you know, that which the, de um, the, the hospitals will tell you, there's really nothing you can do. Just put your house in order. But you know, we are grateful for the great physician. This song that we just sang says, the great physician is here. He's not one of your specialists that would refer you to the eye clinic or the ENT clinic or um, the surgeon. No, no, no. He's our great physician. There is nothing he cannot handle. And the Bible says here that though this man's case was so bad that it was all bones and was ready to go down to the pit. But because he found an interpreter, the person of the Holy Spirit showing him his rights, showing him that Jesus Christ already took your place in death. Why do you want to die? Hallelujah. And because of that, the Bible says light came. The grace of God located him. Grace is multiplied with knowledge. And as a result of that, he was delivered from death. Not only that, he returned to the days of his youth. That means the organs were replaced. <laughs> Damaged organs were replaced. The ones that were dead were brought back to life. And people saw him like that man at the beautiful gate and they were like was this not the man whose case was forsaken and yet the resurrection and the life brought him back but you see the key to restoration and recovery in whatsoever area you're trusting god for whether it's in your health your marriage your finances it's all about what we saw in psalms 119 verse 18 the opening of the eyes. What restored this man was the fact that he found an interpreter. His eyes opened to see, I do not have to go down to the grave. Jesus Christ, my ransom, took my place. And something shifted in him. Was that not what happened with Kenneth Hagen when the whole world had told him, just go and die? But he found it in the book that a price has been paid for me. I choose to live. And that's why when we come to the scriptures, that must be the heart cry. The way you cry according to Psalms 119 verse 18, Lord, open my eyes that I may behold wonders. Everything you need right now is in the book. It's only the closing of the book that can withhold your wonders. But once you shift to being chilled about it, to a desperation on the soul to say, by the blood of Jesus, I gain access to all that Lord has prepared for me. And I will not be denied of it in December. I will not tell, tell stories why things did not happen. Father, open our eyes. 
This is our heart cry this morning to behold the wonders in your word. It's by the blood of Jesus we enter in. Holy Spirit, thank you for the veil has been removed. We thank you for your word coming forth in the demonstration of your spirit and of your power. To heal, to restore, and to deliver. Jesus, we thank you for stretching forth your hands to heal in the service today. To restore, to recover. We give you praise and we give you glory. In the name of Jesus, our wonder work in Jesus. Kindly sit and tell your neighbor, I am secured. I turn to my stronghold and my strong tower, the blood of the Lamb and the name of Jesus. You know why I'm laughing? I was hitting my iPad and it decided to go off. So God of wonders is working miracles this morning. Our God is good. Whoever wants to try can give it a try. So God is good. His mercy endures forever. The Bible says in Isaiah 9 about um, the wonders that is in the name of Jesus. The prophecy came and said, um, unto us a son is born unto us, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the Bible says his name shall be called what? Wonderful. Thank you, media. So we see that when we are talking about wonders in this year 2021, what that means is I would say two things about that. Number one is you must be a lover of the word of God because it's from the word of God you locate the wonders that have been prepared for you in 2021. Number two, his name is wonderful. That means it's that name that delivers the wonders you desire in your health. If you're saying for me and my household, our testimony this year is that there will be none feeble amongst our tribe. What that means is you must be able to engage the wonder working name of Jesus to resist any ailment any disease or any calamity that comes against your body somebody shout the name of jesus sweet as carol ever sung jesus blessed jesus the bible says in proverbs 18 10 the name of the lord is a strong tower amplified classic version the righteous run into that name. Did you realize that it didn't say you walk casually into that name? That word run speaks of an aggression. That word runs makes you understand that there's an effort you put into it. To embrace that name for your safety. It says the righteous runs into it and is safe high above evil. High above leukemia. High above every variant of COVID. High above cancer. High above every disease. And is safe and is also strong. When you embrace the power in that name Jesus there is safety for you there is deliverance for you I decree that exalted name of Jesus over your household right now preserving you from hurt and from harm is it not said in Psalms 91 that because you've made the Lord your refuge even the most high God your habitation because you've made that name of Jesus your dwelling place it says there shall no evil evil before you no plague no calamity shall come near your dwelling in the name of Jesus every plague that the enemy releases upon the face of the earth from Ebola to COVID in its various variants and strains uh, yeah, hallelujah because of that name Jesus it passes over somebody say pass over it passes over your life it passes over your children it passes over your household in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Jesus blessed Jesus the wonder working name of Jesus the Bible says regarding Exodus 4 17 there was a drama that happened in that chapter when God sent Moses to Pharaoh God sent Moses to the person that was meant to take him out somebody say wonders 
And God said to, um, to Moses in Exodus 4, 17, he says, you will take this rod in your hands with which you will do signs. That means when God sends you, he doesn't send you empty. He equips you. And when I ministered on Wednesday, I said to us, I said, that name, that rod speaks in Isaiah 11, chapter 11, verse 1. The Bible says that a rod shall come out of the branch of Jesse and his name is Jesus. And that speaks of the word of God. That means that to see wonders in this year, God has given you the rod of his word with which you will work signs. Signs that wonders are worked by the rod of God's word in your mouth and in your hands. You hold that rod as the sword of the spirit to cut off every ailment that comes against you. But guess what? That rod also speaks of that name Jesus Christ that you not only hold as a rod in your hand, but you also hold in your mouth at that name every knee is bowed the bible says that as moses went to the house of pharaoh he brought out his rod and pharaoh said oh, okay you brought out your best let us see and then he called his magicians uh, and they also brought out their own rod uh, moses rod turned into a serpent the magician's rod also turned into a serp uh, into serpents and their own serpents you know that's why those that know their god will be strong and shall do exploits uh, Moses was not moved by the fact that their serpents were even more in number. But guess what? Because rod passes rod. The rod of Moses, the serpents of Moses swallowed up the serpents of the magicians. So it doesn't matter what rod of sickness, of ailment, of affliction, the enemy plans against you. The Bible says in Psalms 125 verse 3, that because you put your trust in the Lord your God, the rod of the wicked will not rest upon your lot. The rod of diviners will not rest upon your lot. It doesn't matter how it was fashioned. It doesn't matter when it was cooked. It doesn't matter for how long that rod looks like it's been gaining advantage against you. But guess what? The scriptures cannot be broken. The word of the Lord will not return to him void. But it will accomplish what God pleases in your life. God has said to you the rod of the wicked will not rest upon your lot. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the rod of the Lord Jesus Christ is released against every ailment, against every disease. I decree that the rod of the wicked will not rest upon your lot. In the name of Jesus, somebody that believes it, shout a big amen. In Psalm 91 verse 5 and 6, we see all the various things the enemy plans, his arsenals, terror by night, arrow that flies by day. I said in first service that most ailments and diseases are not even physical and natural. You can't use microscope to determine, to, to, to find, to, um, to, what's the word now, to detect, yes, <laughs> demonic spirits. And there are many ailments that are caused by demonic spirits. The Bible would say that Jesus Christ cast out a devil and somebody began to speak and to hear. Hallelujah. Hear. So there are many arrows of the wicked that fly by day that are ailments. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will not locate you. Hallelujah. It says you not be afraid of the pestilences and the plagues that walk in darkness, not for the destruction at noonday. So you see how the enemy plans, plans it, night, day, um, noonday, you know, every time the enemy is plotting. But you see, let the enemy plot day and night. There's one that watches over you that does not sleep nor slumber. He's the one that says there is no divination, no enchantment against you. Hallelujah. He's the one that frustrates the tokens of the wicked. He's the one that makes diviners mad in their divination. He's the one that causes the wickedness of the wicked to return to them. He's the one that causes them that dig a pit for you to fall into it seven times. He's the one that stands behind 
behind you, backing you up, ensuring that a standard is lifted against the enemy. Therefore, I decree to you right now, but the wonder-working name that is in that power, that is in that name, Jesus, you are delivered from every terror by night. You are delivered from the arrow that flies by day. You are delivered from the pestilence that walks in darkness. You are delivered from the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand will fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Only with your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Psalms 118, verse 10 to 12. 118, verse 10 to 12. He says, All nations <laughs> compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord Jesus will I destroy them. They compassed me about, yeah, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees. <laughs> Did anybody feel like, you know, this makes sense to you, especially in the last one year, you know, where you just had so many things compassing round about you, against you. But it says, they are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord Jesus, will I destroy them. When you hold the rod of the um, name of the Lord Jesus Christ in your hand and in your mouth, guess what? You are able to quench them as the fire of thorns. Every ailment, every blood disease, every malaria parasite, everything that rises against you, it is quenchable. Every war is winnable. Every battle is winnable enable the Bible says thanks be unto God who always uh, causes us to triumph uh, in Christ Jesus thanks be unto God who always gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ he says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers him out of how many of them out of them all uh, the Bible says he keeps your bones and none of them somebody say none of them none of them shall be broken therefore we take the shield of faith right now with which we quench and we crush every fiery dart of the wicked in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ the power and the authority that is in that name jesus has been given to you somebody say it belongs to me it's been given to you but it's your own decision now to exercise continuously I'm growing the consciousness that I have with me I have the authority and the power in that name that is above every name for the Bible says in Philippians 2 9 to 11 that God has highly exalted that name Jesus and given him a name that is above every name, above every situation, above every obstacle, above any challenge you're faced with right now, that at that name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth. And every tongue shall confess uh, that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. You remember when that king, I think it was Nebuch uh, Nebuchadnezzar, that said to those um, boys, you know, who is that God that will deliver you out of the fiery furnace? You know, when the enemy begins to ask you questions and threaten you like that, and you know what they are saying is, you know what, I have you caged. I have you all, you know, I've taken you out. Who is the God that can bring you out? And you know, some of you will be in some situations at times that you know, the threat of the adversary really looks real because you're really wondering. <laughs> it's like when God said to <laughs> the prophet, can these bones live? And, and Ezekiel was like, God, even you, you know. Some of you are faced with those kind of situations. But you see, the, that name Jesus, the wonder working name of Jesus is able to bring you out of the worst of pits and of the worst situations. Somebody call that name Jesus. So God is saying that we need to build a consciousness of that name. We need to embrace the consciousness of that name. In Acts chapter 3 verse 6, Peter and John were people who were conscious 
of the fact that they had the wonder working name of Jesus working in their favor. The Bible says here that Peter and John went to the gate beautiful and they saw this man who had been lame from his mother's womb. And Peter said to him in verse 6, Such as I have, give I unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And the Bible says that this man was taken by the hand and lifted up. And immediately, somebody say immediately, his feet and ankle bones received strength. I need somebody to release their faith right now. In that working wonder, wonder working name of Jesus, that as this word is coming forth right now, that name begins to work wonders in that situation that you're lifting up to the Lord. That that situation begins to receive strength. That your organs begin to receive strength right now. I decree right now the strength of the Lord being released to that situation right now. Raising it up, resurrecting it. Let every organ in your body receive strength immediately. In the name of Jesus, immediately I decree the systems of your body receive strength right now. Your immune system arises. Your circulatory system is quickened. In the name of Jesus, let every bone, figurement, uh, ligament, sorry, uh, fiber in your body receive strength right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the Bible says immediately his feet and his ankle bones receive strength. Uh, then in verse 16, when they asked that question, when they began to question them. They said, you know, this, done, this was done by someone called Jesus, our ransom, if you remember that from the beginning. And Peter began to say, and his name. When you put your faith and your trust in his name, when you exercise faith in that name, Jesus, and his name, Jesus, faith in that name, Jesus Christ, his word has made this man strong and given this man perfect soundness in the presence of all. Therefore, I decree right now that as you release is your faith in that name Jesus not only is that situation restored but you will also receive perfect soundness the Bible says that as many as touched him were made perfectly whole somebody can you reach out to him right now by faith and say Lord I release my faith I receive strength and perfect wholeness from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet in the name of Jesus and push that on the Holy Ghost for one minute. <speaking in Spanish> Thank you, Holy Ghost, for total wholeness. Thank you for destroying that yoke. Thank you for lifting that burden. Thank you for restoring that eyesight right now. Thank you for the wonder working. Yes, Lord. Name of Jesus. Immediately, strength has come to that man. Immediately, Lord, life has come to that situation now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. The Bible says in verse 12 of Acts chapter 4, while they were still explaining the experience at the beautiful gate, in Acts 4, 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You see, this is important that you embrace the scripture because when you embrace the scripture, it helps you to realize that there is no need running after alternatives or other options because there is actually no option. You know, God said, I am God all by myself without, apart from me, there is none other. He says, to whom shall you liken me? Who else can you go to, to heal you, to deliver you, to 
to rescue you, but he that created your body in the first place. That's why the Bible says there's no help elsewhere. There's no salvation in any other. So that helps you to sit down and say, you know what? I carry my Bible. I begin to feed on the healing scriptures. Himself took my infirmities and bore my sicknesses. I am prospering and I'm in health. Even as my soul prospers, I serve the Lord my God. He's blessed my bread. He's blessed my water. He's taking sickness away from me. The number of my days he will fulfill. I will not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. With long life he will satisfy me and show me his great salvation. And you begin to speak it to yourself in the morning. You begin to speak it to yourself at noontime. You begin to speak to yourself at night. Remember that scripture we read in Psalms 91, 5 and 6. That the enemy's strategy is terror by night. He's planning, he's throwing javelin at noonday and in the night. And you brethren, you keep quiet morning, afternoon and night. No, 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 you must not be quiet. Morning, afternoon and night, you're on the offensive. Carrying the rod with which you are doing signs. And saying, no, there is not one feeble person amongst my tribe. Not only the tribe of my household, but the tribe of my body no feebleness in my blood system no feebleness in my bones body receive life body go forward body advance in health till old age you will not know feebleness that is the attitude of a conqueror God is calling us to in this house I decree no more weekdays for you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ he says it's still in Acts 4 29 to 30 it says, Lord, behold their threatenings, but grant unto your servants that with all boldness we may speak thy word by stretching forth your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of your holy child Jesus. And they began to see signs. Uh, they began to see wonders. I decree that name of Jesus Christ uh, is working a healing and a cure in your physical body right now. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts 9, 32 to 34, that as Peter went to Lydia, he saw Anus who had been ill, sick of the palsy. And in verse 34, Peter said unto him, Anus, Jesus Christ makes thee whole. Arise and make thy bed. And guess what? And he arose immediately. Just like that man at the beautiful gate. I decree to you right now, the Lord Jesus makes you whole. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive wholeness. Receive restoration. Receive life. Receive strength in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53 verse 4 to 5 uh, from the Amplified Version, I'm going to read that. It says, surely, this is the picture of your life. He has borne, Amplified Classic Version, he's borne your sicknesses, weaknesses, and distresses. I need some prophets in this house that are going to go help me make this declaration. And as you make it, see that happening in actual experience and see that your sick days are really, 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 really over. Ah, can you please say after me, surely he has borne my sicknesses, my weaknesses, and carried my pains. Can you once more time, you one more time make that declaration with that determination that as I press into this word, no more sick days for me and my household. Surely he has borne my sicknesses, my weaknesses and carried my pains. In the name of Jesus, you will not see that ailment anymore. That recurring disease that kept reoccurring, I decree an end to it. As the Lord overturns every mountain of sickness and disease, from the roots in the name of Jesus, there will be no reoccurrence of it in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we considered him stricken, smitten, and afflicted, but he was wounded. This is so sweet. For our transgressions. So that you don't need to be wounded anymore. He was bruised for your iniquities. You don't need to be bruised anymore. The punishment, chastisement that was required to obtain for you. 
peace and well-being was upon him and with his stripes we are healed and we are made whole this is God's covenant of peace that stands fast with you ratified by the blood that's why it does not matter what storm rages upon the face of the earth your peace was purchased <laughs> the lamb was slain from the foundations of the world and this your same ransom hallelujah his blood still continues to speak for you that's why he said say to the righteous Jesus said because I did not bargain regarding the price I paid for you to have peace. He paid it all. He was beaten. He was badly damaged so that it may be well with you. That's why the scripture says as the price not been fully paid. So because the price, as price has been fully paid, you say to the righteous that it is well with him. Hallelujah. Somebody decree it is well with me, well with my children, well with the works of my hands in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that each one of your children without exception because this is still part of the covenant of peace. Eh, great shall be their peace for they are taught of the Lord. Wherever they are right now, I decree great is the peace of your children. Anything that contends with your, their peace in the name of Jesus, we shut it down. We command every raging storm to be made calm now. In the name of Jesus, we command the multiplication of peace to their every situation now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the victory you enforce is the victory you will realize and you will enjoy so you cannot be a chilled Christian because what happens is that chilled Christians get eaten up by lions that roam in the night noonday morning hallelujah so the only way to live is everybody carries their weapons and you carry your rod, I carry my rod, rod against rod, but the rod of the wicked will not rest upon your lords. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The psalmist says, my horn shall that exalt. In Psalms 92, 10, like the horn of a unicorn, I shall be anointed with fresh oil. So let the enemy go and cook up any wicked horn against you. It's a case of horn against horn and God says that he will make your own horn like brass like iron and your hooves like brass hallelujah such that when your own horn of your horn of iron comes against the horn of the wicked you will crush it hallelujah so is somebody letting faith rise in you you are more than you you think of yourself there is more greater is he that is in you let faith rise in you let the greater one in you rise up you cannot be eaten up like a chicken no 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 you've been sent to save the sick and bring people out of captivity the blood that was shed for you is too much for you to be eaten up amen somebody need to rise in their spirit and vex the bible says in revelations chapter 12 verse 7 to 8 there were a group of people that vexed in heaven the Bible says there was war in heaven. You know what? Nobody enjoys liberty without a battle. Because the devils that have plagued your great, great, great grandparents, when they did the deals, it was sealed, signed, and delivered till all the generations till Jesus comes. And then you now wake up and you begin to carry the Bible. You begin to decree, I'm redeemed from the curse. I will live and not die. I will walk in health. And those devils are like, eh, really? Do you know the sacrifices that were made to seal that? But there is a higher altar. There is a higher blood. There is a higher price. The Bible says that that blood flows to the highest mountains. And it flows to the lowest valleys. That blood that gives us strength from day to day. That blood that never loses its power. That voice that no force in hell can withstand. That's the altar that is speaking for you. The Bible says there was war in heaven. And the angels began to fight against the dragon and they <laughs> and you know I began to think to myself you know look at that scripture it says and the dragon fought and his own angels and I begin to ask myself when did the enemy have time to create his own followership so he's kind of looked to save it wasn't the exact moment he had that wicked thought about being lifted that God kicked him out 
It looked as if he had a, a little, even if it was a few minutes, to gather his own team and his group. But you see, you don't sit down and watch your adversary afflicting you and oppressing you. There's a time you have to rise and say, you know what, enough is enough. And at that point, the angels rose and said, okay, no more of this. And the Bible says they fought against the devil and his angels. The Bible says that, that the angels and the devils prevailed not. In the next verse, yes, he prevailed not. So it doesn't matter for how long the enemy has been warring against you, against your mind, against your job, against your marriage, against your health. But you see, that enemy prevails not. And his place, that means that affliction cannot be found anymore in your life. That means when you go back for the doctor's um, medicals, they will tell you that that disease that was in your blood, they cannot find it anymore. They will tell you that that pain that was in your back cannot be found anymore. I decree and I declare by the wonder working day name of Jesus and by the precious blood of the altar of the highest sacrifice every disease every contention with your destiny is crushed right now in the name of Jesus I decree you have overcome it by the blood of Jesus you overcome it you tread it under you triumph over it now by the blood of Jesus somebody say by the blood of Jesus I gain victory over this in the name of the Lord Jesus some of you, like Moses, you're going to go back to that same Pharaoh that used to harass you. But guess what? On your return, you're not going back the same way when you fled. <laughs> you're going back with the rod. You're going back with the armor of the blood. You're going back with the name of the Lord Jesus. And Pharaoh will first think it's a joke. So initially, when you say, no, 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 you this disease, uh, you took my mother out. This cancer took out my grandmother. Not in my life, not in the lives of my children. They'll first think you are joking. They'll, you know, just like Pharaoh was still playing. But when the blood arises, <laughs> The horse and its rider, eh, they are thrown into the sea. Is it not the God that the Bible says God removed the wheels from the chariots of Pharaoh? Pharaoh thought it was a joke. God set you free and then he began to chase you. How dare does he know the blood that was shed on your behalf? The Bible says may God remove the wheels from the chariot of every Pharaoh that tries to pursue you and contend with your liberty in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, speedily they drown in the Red Sea. On this seventh day of March 2021, we decree the, the extinction from your lineage, from your body, from your health, from your experience in the name of Jesus. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians you saw before, you will see them no more forever. No more forever. No more forever. No more forever. Can somebody push that in the Holy Ghost and say every Egyptian against my children, against my health, against my advancement, no more forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus. No more, no more. There will be no reoccurrence. <laughs> ah, by the blood of Jesus, you will not reoccur. By the blood of Jesus, yes, we raise the altar of the blood of the eternal covenant. You will not reoccur. You will not regather. It's from your roots that the blood of Jesus crushes you now. The tokens are crushed, yes. Every token hidden in the mountains, under the rivers, under the earth, wherever you were hidden. In this deliverance service, you are crushed right now. Your yoke is destroyed. Your burden is removed. Ah, your work comes to naught. A thing of naught. Diviner are made mad now. He returns back to the sender by the power of the highest sacrifice of the blood of Jesus. No reoccurrence of it. In the name of Jesus, he goes back to sender. I see it returning. Yes, he <laughs> returns to where it came from. Masete ye gestilia, 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ah, thank you, precious Father. Thank you, precious Father. The Bible says in Zechariah 9, 11 to 12, it says, As for thee, but the blood of the covenant have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pits wherein is no water. You were not meant for the pits. No pit will hold you. No pit will hold your children. No pit will hold your business. In the name of Jesus. But the blood will lose you from that infirmity. In the name of Jesus. He says here when God has said go free. And you were in a pit. All you need to do is to turn to your stronghold. The blood of the eternal covenant. That blood that roars and wars further down in that scripture he says by the blood of jesus jehovah will be seen over you and his arrows will go forth as a lightning striking down every contention against your destiny he says you would subdue and devour with sling stones he says the lord of hosts shall defend you and he will save you as the flock of his people ah somebody say thank Thank you lord for the blood somebody decree with me by the blood of jesus christ which is my stronghold and the name of jesus which is my strong tower i am out of that pit wherein is no water i am out of every pit of sicknesses and diseases and distresses today there is a double fold restoration in my health oh body hear the word of the lord i turn to my stronghold i turn to my strong tower therefore i command your recovery right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you precious father in jesus mighty name by the blood of the eternal covenant there is a double fold restoration going on with you right now all that was lost is restored the blood restores it all for you the blood of jesus restores it all for you in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ even today even today it is restored it is restored in the name of the lord jesus christ as we begin to prepare for the communion the bible says in john 6 51 to 53 it says i'm the living bread which came down from heaven if any man eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. This, these are some of my most favorite scriptures. You know, just that thought of Jesus Christ actually gave himself for my own life. He actually thought, okay, like I said earlier on, he said to his father, if you will, let this cup pass over. And God didn't answer that prayer. God chose to spare me instead of him. He gave his life for you. Hallelujah. As a ransom for your soul. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 5, 7, that even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Did you notice it even say was? Even though the lamb was slain for you from the foundations of the world. But because this blood of the eternal covenant continues to speak, cancer pass over. I am sacrificed for her. Every armed robbery attack, everything that is about trying to take his life away, pass over. I am sacrificed. <laughs> when they gather together to call your name, guess what? The blood of sprinkling speaks. <laughs> they did not say that he will contend with them that contend with you. He said he will cause them that contend with you to eat their own flesh uh, and they'll be drunken with with their own blood uh, as a sweet wine uh, and he said he will save your children that means when they gather together to drink your blood or that of your children guess what uh, they don't even realize uh, that the lord has given rikish to a man for you and people for your life uh, so instead of eating and drinking your own blood they are drinking their own blood uh, that's why the bible says they will drink their own blood as a sweet wine uh, and they don't even 
realized what's going on such that they've drunk and drunk and drunk until they enter into shock God says he will spare your children in the name of the Lord Jesus may the blood that ransomed you may he speak on every altar on your behalf any altar that calls your name for evil let it catch fire now in the name of Jesus let the wickedness of the wicked return now to them and their generations unborn in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as they gathered and conspired against Daniel and they put Daniel in the lion den guess what when God arose on Daniel's behalf and Daniel was brought out all the family members of the conspirators were fed to the lions may the wickedness of the wicked return to them now speedily in the name of the Lord Jesus enough is enough in the name of Jesus we turn to our stronghold the blood of Jesus and our strong tower the name of Jesus and we are saved I command safety for you I command safety for you I command safety for you in the name of the Lord Jesus the Bible says in Luke 24 as we begin to prepare for the communion now that it came to pass Luke 24 16 Jesus was walking with his disciples after he arose from the dead and he began to tell them or rather they began to tell him about the man that died and all of that the Bible says in verse 16 that their eyes were holding that they should not know him you see God has prepared stuff for you for this year he says, eyes have not seen nor ears heard. Neither has he entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared. There are wonders in the word for you. But you see, what the enemy, the enemy cannot stop the Lord from doing his work. He can only stop you from accessing that which God has already prepared. And what, one of the things he tries to do is to hold the eyes of people such that they do not see. Have you seen some guys where God has prepared this amazing chick that will be the one that is not a witch that will ensure the fulfillment of your mandate. But there's this Naomi Campbell looking babe around you that keeps distracting you. And God is saying to you, look at the one that will help your destiny. And you're like, no, this one does not match my spec. What happened? The holding of the eyes. And then he marries her and he now comes and says, Pastor, I'm not doing it again. I married a witch. What happened to him? There was the holding of the eyes. May your eyes be open to see every inheritance that God has given unto you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that in verse 32, in verse 30 to 30, 32, that Jesus sat with them and took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to them. And their eyes were open and they knew him our father thank you for open eyes we curse everything every error that will make us connect every wrong connection every wrong network but the power of the blood of Jesus we curse it on this altar in the name of Jesus every phone call email that is going to make you divert from the cause of God for your life we send it to spam right now we crush that network now in the name of the Lord Jesus ah and about the speakings of the blood that speaks mercy we command the alignment oh God of our hearts to the right networks to the right relationships making for divine advancement in the name of Jesus the Bible says after he broke bread, their eyes were open and they knew him. May your eyes be open upon this altar today. In 1 Corinthians 11 to 26, can we rise up on our feet please? If we don't have any communion emblem, you can just signify and the ushers will be glad to help. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11, 24 to 25, that when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take it this is my body which is broken for you look at that word again he broke his body so that you may live he says do this in remembrance of me after the same manner he took the cup 
when he had stopped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood that is the new covenant in my blood these do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and you drink this cup, what do you do? You are showing the Lord's death till he comes. You are showing Jesus died my death. The allocation of death they prepared for me in my family. Look at it. Jesus already took it. The plot of ailments and diseases they planned for me from hell. Jesus Christ took all of them. The curses they prepared for you, Jesus Christ became cursed in your place. The poverty and failure that was strategized for you from hell, Jesus Christ took it for you. What business do you have with it? That's why you must appropriate the finished work with faith and violence in your heart. That where would Jesus die and then me too I will die. We will not make salvation of none effect in our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Broken for you. You must embrace that thought every time you come to the communion with gratitude of heart. Ah, my death, he died. He was crucified, laid behind the stone. He was rejected and alone like a rose. He was trampled on the ground. He took the fall that was meant for me. Thought of me above all, nothing else mattered to him. But that you and I will live, that it may be well with us. That we may fulfill his mandate for our lives. Is there anyone here today saying Jesus Christ. I want to receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. You took my fall. I don't want to fall where you have fallen in my place. I want to rededicate my heart to you. Online. If you are praying that prayer kindly indicate and say I want to rededicate my heart. Or give my life to Jesus. And if you're here physically, I want you to just quickly walk forward. If you're saying, Jesus Christ, I want to give my heart to you, or I want to rededicate my life to you, is there anyone that wants to pray that prayer before we quickly break bread? While we wait for anyone, anyone that wants to pray that prayer can quickly walk forward. The Bible says in verse 28 to 30, it says, let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that blood. For he that eats and drinks unworthily eats and drinks damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly and many sleep. But you see, on the contrary, when you discern the Lord's body, you honor it. And you say, Lord, I'm so grateful for this price you paid. From today, I refuse to bear in my body the curses you bore. The Bible says you will no longer know weakness. Instead of weakness, I decree you receive strength on this communion table. Instead of sickness, receive health and wholeness from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. May this rain, healing rain, pour out upon everyone grass in your field. May every one of your children, grandchildren, wherever they are, across the nations of the earth, may the experience of this healing rain right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, and may you enjoy full length of days. May strength of days be delivered to you right now, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we say thank you. He says, if the man would realize that there is a ransom for his soul, then he will be delivered from going down to the pits. Job 33, 21 to 25. Can somebody begin to thank the Lord and say, Jesus, I recognize you as my ransom. So I will not go down to the pits. I return to the days of my youth. <laughs> Organs are replaced in my body. There's a new work going on. <laughs> oh, God is refreshing my life, renewing my youth. I recognize my ransom, Jesus, my ransom. I will not go down to the pits. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, thank you for losing those appointed to death. Our ransom will leave the blood of the eternal covenant against every evil wind, against the schemes of hell. But the power of the blood of Jesus, Lika will leave the blood sacrifice. Maliki Riaga Setere Gestilika Satoria Gastelia. 
Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. The Bible says on that night, he took bread, he blessed it, he gave thanks, he broke it, and said, take it, this is my body. I want you to break it, and as you break it, see that his body was broken, crushed, and battered. That your body will never, ever, ever be broken. And as you eat, release your faith. That life, divine nature is being imparted into you right now. That divine strength is flowing in you now. And that by reason of this which you eat, the number of your days will be fulfilled. You may partake of the Lord's body. Oh, the precious blood of Jesus. How many of you love the blood of the Lamb? If not for the blood, if not for the blood, would have been had for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, but for the blood. Father, we are a most grateful people. That we found mercy with you, we are grateful. Thank you for taking our fall. Thank you for dying our death. Can somebody please, please say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, today I turn to my stronghold, the blood of Jesus, and to my strong tower, the name of Jesus. I curse from the roots every sickness, any disease, any affliction against my life, against my children. By the blood of Jesus, I decree we have escaped. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. Today, we receive a double-fold recovery from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We receive recovery now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. We turn to our stronghold this morning. Even the blood of the eternal sacrifice. Jesus, our ransom. You pay the price for each one of us. For our children. Let the blood be seen upon every life right now. Upon every lintel. Upon every gate. Upon our homes. Upon the works of our hands. But the blood will rebuke you, Satan. And you flee from us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. But the blood will secure every life. We secure every mandate. We secure every ministry. We secure every marriage. We secure the lives of our children. We secure our jobs and our businesses. We decree no harm, no loss, no damage because of the blood. Evil passes over. You will not see terror by night. You will not see the arrows that fly by day. You will not see the pestilence that walks in darkness. Not the destruction that walks at noonday. Because by the blood of Jesus, evil passes over you. In the name of Jesus, the number of your days Jehovah will fulfill. With long life, he will satisfy you. And he will show you his great salvation. Drink to victory. Drink to full length of days. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody begin to thank the Lord for the blood that has ransomed you? You will not be the same person that will return to your work tomorrow. You will not be the same person. You take that rod in your hands with which you will do signs. May the gates of Abuja open to you of his own accord. May the iron gates of Nigeria and the globe open to you of his own accord. In the name of Jesus, may the hand of the Lord advance you. May it be well with you. 2021 will bear God fruit for you. Good fruit, wonders on every side. In the name of Jesus, go forth and prosper. In Jesus' name. Can we celebrate our Heavenly Father knowing fully well that the Egyptians that we saw before we came into this service, we are not living here with them. Can you, don't be in a hurry to sit. I want us to celebrate our Heavenly Father. Can we give him a dance? Can we give him a shout? 
knowing fully well that we are not the same if you came in here sick check your body whether you are online check your body go back to that place where you have struggled with before because things have changed the seasons have changed over us can we give our heavenly father three hallelujah 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 celebrate our heavenly father hallelujah please very quickly let's pray for pastor bimbo she's poured our total self to us this morning i want us to just say father refresh her strengthen her anoint her afresh lord we hide her in the name of jesus i say strong tower we declare the speakings of the blood forever over her and her household no arm we come to her and her household thank you father because she's continually defended and protected by the blood in jesus mighty name we have prayed hallelujah it's offering time let's have a seat it's offering time i didn't hear you are you not celebrating god has done so much for us this morning it's offering time hallelujah we do it with joy we do it with gladness we do it out of love the information for us to give our offering will be on the screen from every nation you are connecting from the information will help you this morning with your offering or with your tithe or you need a tight envelope please just signify the ushers will help you with that i'll read luke chapter 6 verse from the Persian translation, give generously and generous gifts will be given back to you. Shaken down to make room for more. Abundant gifts will pour out upon you with such an overflowing measure that it will run over the top. Your measurement of generosity becomes the measurement of your return. This morning, we will equally be praying for Titus. I want to just emphasize that in this house, we do not give our tithe out of fear or love. Not because you are afraid that God will hit your head at night or turn off the tap. We do it because we love him. We do it out of honor. We do it because we know that he is our source. And this morning, if you know that he is your sufficiency... Is your source and you are a tighter or you have your tighter rise as we take prayers together let's just agree in the place of prayer please just rise very quickly while we package our offering while we do our transfer let's just share a word of prayer together for the titers and the house heavenly father thank you for the blessing of obedience thank you because lord you have promised us that when we bring this into your storehouse out of love as it is in the new testament that you will open the windows of heaven and bless us father let your heavens be open over every title here today bless what you have brought to you O lord and father rebuke the devourer for them that they shall not suffer any loss or trouble in the name of jesus as we take our seat father thank you for everyone that has brought their offering this morning I pray that, Father, you bless them. Let this givings this money be used for the extension of your work. And, Father, in return, cause there to be an increase upon our lives, upon our finances, concerning our needs, Father. We thank you. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. The ushers, we move around as they take the offering. While that is going on, I will welcome Pastor Dan Ezra for the furtherance of the service. God bless you all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can we have the media presentation, please? Media, please let it roll.
Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. If you were born in the month of March, or you are having your wedding anniversary in the month of March, on behalf of Apostle Goodhart and his anointed wife and the entire leadership and eldership of this house, we'd like to pray with you and rejoice with you on such a day. If you are here, you are born again, you are, you are born <laughs> in the month of March. Can you please rise on your feet? Oh, this month is your anniversary. Happy birthday and happy anniversary to all of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. God is a good God. Shall we lift our voice and just say a word of blessing unto them? Stretch your hands in their direction. Lord, we stretch our hands in the direction of these precious people in acknowledgement of your faithfulness over the years. Those who are born in the month of March, those who got married in the month of March, we present them unto you afresh that this altar will speak positively into this destiny today in the name of Jesus. In this new year, let joy abound in their lives. Let testimony abound in their lives. Let every stress be done away with, with the past years. Let this day mark a new beginning in the name of Jesus. In this month of March, we decree each one of them at whatever things out of thy law. Psalm 119 verse 18. There will be a rebroadcast of today's service on all our social media platforms by 5 p.m. Enjoy a most refreshing time in God's presence as you play back. We are so sure that you were tremendously blessed in this year's edition of Reha IC. You can still be blessed by doing the playback of any session you missed. All sessions are available on our social media handles. You can still send your testimony, pictures and short videos of your favorite moments that you captured. Kindly remember to use the hashtags Hashtag Reha IC 2021, hashtag God of Wonder, and hashtag Rogic. Wonders is indeed our reality. Fast track classes for both membership and believers foundation class has commenced. Register at the Rossum decks before you leave if you have not already done so. Ignite City Center's ICC resumes this month facilities being used are strict on COVID-19 protocols and are equipped to serve accordingly. There's an opportunity for you to host a center in your home, office or facility. Kindly see Pastor Ralph after service if you want to volunteer your space for an ICC center. Humber certificates and diploma classes resume this month. Pick your registration form at the foyer or see Dr. James Okorafo after service for further inquiry. Our website www.rogic.org is also open for registration for baby naming, baby dedication and premarital classes. Click the registration menu, select the form you want to fill, fill and submit on the same platform. Kindly also note that premarital classes will commence next Sunday, the 14th of March, and it is mandatory for every dating couple in Rogic. Postmarital classes also commences on Sunday, the 14th of March. Please note that all classes are online. You can also listen to all Reha IC 2021 messages on our Rogic website, www.rogic.org media on Rogic platform, on Rogic podcast, Sunday service. Our first service starts at 7.30 a.m. and our second double portion service commences at 9.30 a.m. on Sundays. Be a blessing to someone by inviting him or her for our celebration service this Sunday. Box Shuttle will be available to ply Area 1, Beggar and Lube Axis at the close of service today. Please do well to use the Box Shuttle maximally. Thank you. See you on Wednesday for our Word and Worship service by 5.45pm. Wonders 2021 is indeed a reality. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, 
indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodheart Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Meeting Time plus one, and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Meeting Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rojic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodheart O Ikweme. On Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar, the surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We receive. There must be a relationship between God and you, not just as master and subject. Lord and subject. You must have a relationship that goes beyond God is God to God is my Father. So at the point where you are born again, uh, you don't have to uh, fast for 21 days, try, you know, just to get the Holy Ghost, uh, repent of all the sins your ancestors committed to get the Holy Ghost. You know, you, 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 no, 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 no. Light has come, and today, as a child of God, or as a will be child of God, as you turn your heart to Jesus, you are going to invite the Holy Ghost in your life to baptize you. Somebody said, Yes, good news! Hallelujah! We have new GPPA station as Makodi, Benue State. So we are, now, we are now on Harvest FM 103.5. 103.5. You have relations, friends in Benue. Please let them know that we have just entered that city. Starting tomorrow, the GPP will be broadcasted on this station. Glory to God. Now all those who collected the autographed new book by Apostle Goodhart, Succeeding God's Way, should please remit their commitments to Zenith Bank account of Kingdom Air Force Partners. Glory to Jesus. Now, if you are here today for the very first time worshiping here on a Sunday service, wherever you are, please rise on your feet. We'd like to acknowledge you. We'd like to pray for you. And we'd like to show you our goodwill. This is your first Sunday service in Rogic. Please rise on your feet. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Wherever you are, God bless you, sir. We are so delighted that you are here with us online. We are delighted you are worshiping with us in this Sunday service. We believe very strongly that you have been blessed. If please, there will be a link right there on the screen. Just uh, connect to that link and do the need for the Lord bless you. Please walk out with your bags. We have a place prepared to receive you. God bless you. Welcome. Welcome home. Hallelujah. Shall we rise on our feet as we take our logic declaration of faith? Media, please help us. Okay, one, two, go. I am born again by the incorruptible seed of God's word. Though I am in the world, I am not of the world system. I have victory by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I am called and empowered by God to be salt of the earth and light of the world. Because I am from above, I exercise dominion, rulership, and authority over every earthly affair. My entire life, choices, and decisions are guided by the integrity, integrity of God's word. I am what God's word says I am, and I can do what God's word says I can do. I am crucified with Christ. 
I no longer live for self and self-interest, but for Christ. Passionate worship is an expression of my gratitude for my inheritance in Christ. I live with the consciousness of eternity. Therefore, I walk daily in the reverential fear of God. I'm a loved child of a loved God. I'm accepted in the beloved. The love of God is shed abroad in my heart. Therefore, I express God's love freely to others. I'm a person of excellence, integrity, and character. I live to bring glory to God by the workings of the spirit of excellence in my personal life. My life and heart are set ablaze with passion and zeal for Christ. I am a soul winner, and I delight in sharing the love of Christ in my world. I make fervent prayers and study of the word of God top priority in my life. God's grace is abundantly sufficient for me to finish the journey of life well. As I seek God's kingdom daily, all my needs and provisions of life are met supernaturally. I am blessed by God to be a blessing. Amen and amen. Father, we thank you. Somebody grateful for the blessing that has come your way this service. Lift your hands and give him thanks. Thank you, Father, for the release of grace and virtue. Thank you, Father, for the words spoken upon my life and destiny, which will begin to answer right from now. All through this week, I see burdens lifted, chains broken. I see doors opening. So, Father, I thank you for the helps that have released upon me upon this altar today. I know I will never be the same again. The Pharaoh that I saw last week and days behind, I will never see them again no more forever. Thank you, Father. We give you all glory and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Now give the goodness to somebody beside you. Say, surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Have a most fruitful week. One way to please God, which is obvious, is to respond appropriately to his love shown to you. It's not enough to sing of his love, to dance about his love, to talk about his love, to jump about his love. We need to scripturally huh, respond appropriately to the love of God. If you love God, you will also respond. Number two, number two, you respond by loving his children, the saints, believers. You will respond to the love of God in bringing pleasure and delight by naturally hating what he hates and loving what he loves. As you read through scriptures, there are certain things the Bible says God hates and there are certain things he loves. Kingdom service is an expression of love. God is jealous over his house, his church, the kingdom. He says, seek first the kingdom, Matthew 6, 3, 3, and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. When we love him, we'll love his house and seek to serve his house. We'll be zealous about his house.
up, on Revival is here again. Wealthy with means and fathers and this city. Five minutes, one word of encouragement, or a word of prayer, I get up. Always precedes and preceded resurrection. There can be no resurrection except there is first and foremost a death and a burial, and then all the people. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodheart Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one, and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rojic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodheart O Ikweme. On Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. The surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We receive. for the name. There is no higher name. We celebrate your name this morning in the noon time and at night our prayer our supplication will come before you. Son of God risen Savior Lamb of Glory who is like unto you. Jesus we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15 
until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field and a fruitful field be valued as a forest help me together lift your voices and cry out lord we are asking for the pouring out lord of your rain today that everything everyone that is here comes into the full value of the manifested son of god who was giving for our redemption lord we cry unto you this morning we look to you heavenly father lord we welcome your spirit oh father we thank you because he has been indeed poured upon us lord today we thank you for open heavens in the first and in the second services we thank you for everyone that's here on site we thank you for everyone whose hearts are connected online father we celebrate your goodness over us today how great is your goodness poured out for those who fear you there is no end to your loving kindness that comes to us to us each day lord we thank you for compassion we thank you for great mercies we thank you lord jesus for the testimony of the righteous that is being birthed that is being consolidated that is being affirmed blessed be your name blessed be your name somebody help me honor the king of glory if you're online you're welcome to today's service we are about to have a most amazing time in the presence of god in the name of jesus Help me now welcome House of Judah for the furtherance of the service. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you have a testimony, please say Pastor Daddy Sin at the foyer. Are we ready to celebrate Jesus? If you have a testimony, Pastor Daddy Sin waiting for you. Root it. Push. I'll go this reason. Yeah. Let's go. Reason. His reason. For Resurrection power. Resurrected. 
a wonderful king. What a gracious king, Jesus. He's the champion of love. He's higher than the highest. He's greater than the greatest. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, just go ahead and love on him. Just go ahead and love on him. His love is overwhelming. His love is overwhelming. Thank you, Jesus. There is only one name. There is only one name. Just lift your hands and say it out loud. There is only one name that has the power to save. The power to save. The only name that has the potency to save. The power to save. There's only only one name that is record, and there is only one. Come on, church, say it out loud. There is only one name. With power to save. With power to heal. To deliver. To make free. With power to save. All of us is filled and let's lift your hands and say,
for the blood we thank you for the cross we thank you for your love for us that took you to the cross we thank you for the nails that pierced your hands for us we thank you for taking away our shame we thank you for exchanging our unrighteousness for your righteousness we thank you for the divine exchange. We thank you for lifting our burdens. We thank you for the healing and deliverance that's in your blood. We thank you for the blood of the everlasting covenant. There is power in your blood. There's deliverance in your blood. There is lifting in your blood. There is healing in your blood. There's forgiveness of sin in your blood. There is mercy in your blood. We have come into your presence this morning. Assured of your love for us. And we say thank you. We say thank you. We thank you for the breath of life. We thank you for that which you're doing here already. We give you all the glory. In the matchless name of Jesus. Can someone shout thank you Jesus hallelujah look at your neighbor and say you are in the right place and for those online you are indeed in the right place hallelujah glory to god as we're praying for the expectation of the word this morning i want us to look at john chapter 6 verse 6 to 3. he said it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profited nothing the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life can someone pray a simple prayer say father as your word comes to me this morning speak life to my situation in the name of jesus christ is someone praying that prayer speak life life to that situation every dead situation lord receives life right now let your faith arise are you watching online life is coming your way by the word that is coming can someone embrace life Ribado sheke biado sata lekra da yano siyatati lekedes as your word comes this morning we receive life lika do yetosa lembre desuto yegede zeki ado sata mando shi kregede la yetosa legedes there is life in the blood of Jesus li shakanda yada lekrendo siyata le site we embrace life. Le zupa kata le kregedi ano sata. As your word comes, life le zupa da yakando se. Over that situation, over that sickness and disease, we declare life to that human being in the name of Jesus. That man, that woman, that boy, that girl, that situation, that long-standing issue, receive life. Le janda ye brando siyatale. As the word of God comes, le sandale brando siyata. You shall not die. You will live to declare the works of God in the land of the living. Repato siyata. This week, life. Maso brando siyatale. Le kebore ado siyata. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. If you want to express life this morning to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, can you shout Hallelujah? If you want the heavens to know that you have life, can you scream hallelujah? If you're grateful for that breath, can you shout hallelujah? You only have prayer points because you have breath. The only reason you have that list is because you are enjoying the greatest gift of all, the breath of life. As Apostle Goodhart often says and has taught us in this house, it's a great day to be alive my god I, I i know the meaning of that statement i can tell you what it means to wake up in the morning and say indeed it's a great day to be alive. as you take your seat look at that neighbor and say it's a great day to be alive it's a great day to be alive hallelujah we have a testifier this morning sister favor one maker 
She said, I want to thank God for granting me success in the just concluded West African College of Physicians exam, Faculty of Pediatrics. I return the success to him because his hand alone helped me. Thank you, Jesus. God's hand has helped her and that same hand is helping you this week. In the matchless name of Jesus. Will you with Jesus joy enjoy the ministration of House of Judah? for your blood Jesus oh thank you God mm. I heard an old, old story about a savior that came from glory how he gave his life at Calvary, he did it all just for me. They nailed him in his hands. They nailed him in his feet. They nailed him to a cross to die. And all the while he was thinking of me Cause in those nails was every mistake I made The thorns were formed from my lies The lashes he took, they were meant for me But you told God you would take them you agreed to do it You agreed to die You agreed to give your life To save mine Oh, what a sacrifice You made for me Knowing all that you would have to go through You agreed Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I heard an old, old story about a Savior that came. Give it up to save my to save 
grateful that he agreed to die your death this morning. How many of you are grateful for the finished work on Calvary's tree? For this ransom who came and gave himself for, for you and I, that we may live and not die. Father, we are a most grateful people this morning for the life you gave for us. You took our place in death, in destruction, in sickness, in the curse, in poverty. We that were once without hope, strangers from the covenant, you've drawn us near by a new and a living way. You've crowned our heads with your love and kindness and your tender mercies made us partakers of the covenant of promise. What a privilege, what manner of love is this that we are now called the sons of God. For this we say, blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we worship. Amen, amen, amen. The psalmist said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Is there anyone with breath in your nostrils today? Once again, just bless the name of the Lord who gives breath to you. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. Hallelujah. Welcome to the first Sunday of the month of March where God is working wonders through his word. Welcome and congratulations again um, on the of the blessings of Reha Conference that we are still seeing wonders without number and the wonders are continuing, amen. You will see greater things, Nathaniel, greater wonders in the name of the Lord Jesus. And this month has been tagged four Sundays of wonders. Four, Sunday, four su wonder Sundays, amen. We are in for an amazing flight with God showing us wonders on every side so you can't afford to even miss any service wednesday sunday wednesday sunday god has great things in store for you so i would like to encourage you to please make all of them a date let's turn our bibles to psalms 107 today's our healing and deliverance service our communion services are healing and deliverance services and we know that god is here already hallelujah to work healing and deliverance online and on site in the name of the Lord Jesus, I bring you greetings from Apostle Goodard is out of town. I just honor God for the privilege to stand before you today. We're going to be reading Psalms 107, verses 14, 16, and 20. Then we'll open, then we'll read our text for the month. Psalms 119, verse 18. Okay. Psalms 107, verse 14. Let's read together one go. Um, KJV. He brought them out of darkness and out of the shadow of death and break their bands in thunder. King James Version, please. Verse 16 says, For he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron asunder. Verse 20 says, He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions now our text for the month is psalms 119 verse 18 it's a scripture we've been praying for some weeks now and it's something we're going to keep pushing all through this month psalms 119 verse 18 says open thou my eyes that i may behold wondrous things out of thy law from this scripture verse you see that the wonders God has prepared for you without number in this year 2021 is tied to your ability to see that which is in his word. And every prophetic word God has spoken over you regarding your health, that of your children, hallelujah, your ability to walk in it is dependent on your ability to see that which he has already prepared for you in his word. He says he's brought you out of darkness, out of the shadow of death. He's broken your bands and thunder. Hallelujah. I decree to you that is there any band of wickedness that is locking around you. That the bands are broken off you in this service in the name of Jesus. For he has broken the gates of brass. He has cut asunder the bars of iron. 
There is the sent word is coming in your direction, tailor made for you. Hallelujah to heal you, to rescue you, to restore you, and to redeem your life from destruction. And so Jehovah Elion, for you rule and reign in the affairs of men. We thank you for your word that is being released already in this place to deliver to heal to save thank you for stretching forth your hands and causing signs to be done by the name of your holy child jesus we thank you for this healing rain upon everyone grass in our field even the babies in the womb will live for joy by reason of your salvation that has come forth this morning and so precious holy spirit we thank you for illumination it's by the blood of jesus we enter in Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healings. Thank you for liberty. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Can somebody help me speak to two or three neighbors and let them know that you're secured in health by your stronghold and by your strong tower. And you may have your seats in God's awesome presence. So we title this Secured in Health by My Stronghold and My Strong Tower. Just like I said earlier on, God's plan for you, child of God, is that you prosper and that you are in health. Hallelujah. But you see, the wonders of total health God has preserved and prepared for you and your household this year is in the Word. And unless the book is opened, it will look and as, appear as if you are deprived and denied of that inheritance of total health for you and your household, God forbid. That's why it's important that we are people that spend time, invest time, giving ourselves to studying the word of God regarding our inheritance of healing and health on a daily basis. The same way you commit yourself to eating food daily that's the same way you should ensure you're nourishing your spirit man with the word of god reminding yourself of your promises regarding healing and health so that it will not be a story but to be experiential for you and your household that there is not one feeble person amongst our tribe may that be your experience in the name of jesus the bible says in isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 the prophecy about the birth of jesus christ he says that his name shall be called wonderful full of wonders anytime you activate that name in faith wonders accompany the preaching of his word the preaching of his name the declaration of his name would always be accompanied by signs and wonders somebody called that name jesus the bible says regarding that name in proverbs 18 10 amplified classic version it says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous runs into it and is safe high above every evil and is strong hallelujah nathaniel bassi puts it this way your name is a strong tower jesus to you belongs all power jesus whenever i call your name you make a way your name is a strong tower jesus the bible says that name without any doubt there's assurance that when you run into it when you embrace that name you are saved from every disease you are safe from every plot strategy of the wicked high above that's what amplified says high above evil and you are strong hallelujah and you know when you think about um 
Psalms uh, 91, the popular psalm in verses 5 and 6 that talks about um, the many challenges that people face. It talks about the terror by night. It talks about the arrow that the enemy throws by day. And you know many times, many ailments people deal with, they are not even natural. They are arrows of the enemy. It talks about the pestilence and plagues that walks in darkness. It talks about the destruction that wastes at noonday. But you see, it doesn't matter matter what they cook up the terror by night the arrow by day the pestilence or the destruction and noon day once you are secured in that name jesus you are high above every evil therefore i decree that because you've made the name of jesus your refuge rogica therefore you are free and secured and exempted from the terror by night you will not see the arrow by day you will not see the pestilence and plagues that walk at darkness you will not see the destruction at noonday in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, once again, somebody call that name Jesus. The power and the authority that is in that name Jesus has been given into your hands. So, O oh, son of God, O oh, daughter of God. And God's expectation is that you will take that name and you will exercise it and you will dominate and rule the spirit of infirmity and every calamity by that name. God was going to send Pharaoh, I beg your pardon, Moses on an, in an assignment in Exodus 4, 17 and God said to Moses, thou shalt take this rod in your hands uh, with which you will do signs. Uh, God said to him, I preached this a message on Wednesday and I talked about this. If you were not in church, you need to get it. You know, God said, you will take Moses. I'm sending you to walk wonders in the camp of Pharaoh that will make ears tingle for a lifetime. But you see, you cannot go alone. I'm giving you, I'm equipping you with a rod with which you will do signs and you will do wonders. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 1 that a rod will come out of the stem of Jesse and that rod refers to the living word who is Jesus himself. So what is God saying to you and I? God is saying every prophetic word that came out of the conference. You and I, you will go and take that word and you will work it. Ah, with which you will do signs. Uh, the inheritance, the word of God that has come to you regarding your healing and your health. That by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are already healed. You will take that word as a rod in your hands and with it you will walk signs and you will walk wonders. But guess what? Uh, the name of Jesus Christ uh, is another rod that God is calling us to take. Uh, so in one hand, you will take the rod of of the word of God which is the sword of the spirit with which you will cut into pieces and quench the spirit of infirmity with any disease that hell raises against you and then you will take the rod of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ on the other side with which you will work signs and you will work wonders the Bible says in the book of Mark 16 17 to 18 it says and these signs shall follow or accompany them that believe he didn't say the sign shall follow christians he says the sign shall follow them that believe that means before the rod can work in your hands your faith must be in place he says in my name for those that believe in that name jesus what will they do he says you will cast out devils you will speak with new tongues. He says they will take uh, they will take up serpents, uh, and this is the picture that comes to my mind. Uh, you remember when Moses held that rod uh, before Pharaoh? Ah, uh, Pharaoh said, "Okay, small, try another one." He called his magicians, uh, and they brought out their own rod. Uh, Moses' rod became a serpent. Theirs also became serpents. But guess what? Uh, because rod passes rod, the rod of Moses ate up the rod. Of of magicians uh, man of God woman of God God is saying to you here that without rod in your hands uh, the rod of the name of Jesus you will do signs uh, you will take up serpents uh, it says even if you eat any deadly thing it will not hurt 
to you. It doesn't matter what you've eaten in your body. It doesn't matter what they programmed against your health. It doesn't matter what arrow they try to push against your body. As you take the rod of the name of Jesus and you walk that rod, that rod begins to swallow up every serpent, every stranger that is in your body. Therefore, I decree in that name Jesus right now, let every stranger fade away from their hiding places. Jesus, take your place in the bodies of your people, in their immune systems, respiratory tracts, a circulatory in every organ. Let every other name fade away. Let every stranger fade away from their hiding places now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is it not written in Psalms 125.3? It says, because you trust in the Lord. It says, the rod of the wicked. Let them cook it. Let them program it. Let them fashion it. God says, you might even feel the symptoms, but God said, it will not rest upon your lot. Hey, your children might have felt that headache, but guess what? That yoke is broken. The name of Jesus has loosed that child for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon your lot. Can the preacher with me decree the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon my lot? Are there any believers in the south? Take that higher. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon my lot. When God sent out the disciples in Luke 10, 17 to 19, he said unto them, behold, he said unto them in Luke 10, 17, he says, I give unto you power. And then the disciples went and came back. When they saw that demons were living, healing was taking place. Deliverance was taking place. They now came and looked at self in 17 and said, um, even the devils are subject to us through thy name. Hallelujah. That means that that spirit of infirmity does not have a choice to bow when you invoke the name of Jesus. That cancer is bowed. That leukemia has bowed. Arthritis has taken off. Every blood disease is departed. Demonic spirits are subject right now to that name Jesus. And it says, behold, I give unto you power. Hallelujah, with which you will tread upon serpents. You will tread upon leukemia. You will tread upon COVID. You will tread upon high blood pressure. And over the spirit of infirmity. It doesn't matter what form of fashion it comes in. And guess what? It says nothing. Somebody say nothing. Shall by any means hurt you. You cannot be hurt by that disease. Your great grandfather might have suffered it. He might have come against your grandfather. Even your dad might have been under its influence. But guess what? Not in your home. Can somebody say right now in the name of Jesus Christ I receive the power and the authority that is in that name Jesus and I tread down every disease every ailment and all the power of the enemy nothing shall by enemies hurt me and my children and my household in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ god has given you that authority and power and there was a man in acts chapter 3 2 to 5 who understand the use of that power the Bible says Peter went to the beautiful gate, Peter and John, and they saw a man who had been lame from his feet. And Jesus, um, Peter said to him, such as I have, hallelujah, somebody needs to put that name to use. Peter said, I'm not confused about it. He gave me the name. We disciples, we received the name. We saw devils being subject to us in that name. I know I have the power and the authority in that name, Jesus. I know that name works wonders. Peter said such as I have. I have this authority. I'm not keeping quiet. I'm going to exercise it. He said to that man, rise up and walk. Hallelujah. The Bible says uh, that the man immediately received his feet and ankle bones received strength. Uh, immediately, not the next day. As I decree the name of the Lord Jesus, the wonder working name of Jesus over that situation you're faced with, over your body right now. I decree that your ankle bones receive strength. Uh, hey, somebody, your heart receives strength right now. That spine receives strength right now in the name of 
of Jesus, let that situation receive strength. Uh, the strength that comes with the power that is in that name, Jesus. I decree receive strength in right now. In the name of Jesus. No more weak days for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and when they began to question Peter and John. And saying by what means did you do this miracle? Peter said to them in Acts 3.16. He says and his name. Through faith in his name. Does this man stand before you stronger. Not weaker. Not better. But stronger. He says the faith that is in that name Jesus. Has given this man perfect soundness in the presence of all as you release your faith in that name right now i command strength to flow in you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet uh, receive strength right now receive life right now i decree the name of jesus what's perfect soundness yes <laughs> that womb is being reconstructed right now thank you holy ghost for the gift of new organs you're giving to your people right now as you walk perfect soundness you will go back to the hospital and they will tell you that that organ looks absolutely new holy ghost we thank you perfect soundness from the crown of their heads uh, to the soles of their feet uh, in the mighty name of the lord jesus holy spirit we thank you right now you're still working yes lord thank you for a complete work yes the bible says as many as touched him were made perfectly whole he doesn't make you better he saves you to the uttermost can somebody just touch your body right now and pray in the holy ghost for one minute and receive perfect perfect soundness wholeness i have touched the hem of his garment and his blood has made me whole right now you are moving holy spirit thank you for total wholeness yes strength yes strength yes lord that heart begins to beat right those kidneys begin to function well those lungs are no longer weak strength yes lord comes into those lungs right now for your breath gives your daughter life thank you precious holy spirit in the name of the lord jesus we pray the Bible says in Isaiah 53, verse 4 to 5, Amplified Classic Version. Surely he has borne our griefs, sicknesses, weaknesses, and distresses. What are you doing with that which Jesus already bore in your place? May your eyes be opened right now to say enough is enough. To everything that contends with your well-being and that of your household. Can somebody say, surely he has borne my sicknesses, my weaknesses, and carried my pain. As you decree that anything that recognize, that represents a, we a form of weakness against you leaves you right now. Or anything the enemy programs against your health. Uh, a standard is raised against it as you make that declaration. Can we do that again? Surely he hath borne my sicknesses, weaknesses, and carried my pain. One more time. Surely he hath borne. Media help me. My sicknesses, my weaknesses, and carried my pain. It says here that we saw him stricken, smitten, and afflicted. Why? So that you will no longer be stricken, you will no longer be smitten, and you will no longer be afflicted. The Bible says, but he was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised. Why? For your guilt and for your iniquities. The punishment that was needful to obtain <laughs> peace and well-being for you was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed and we are made whole. Somebody say, I obtain mercy. 
and I obtain peace. Peace and well-being. Hey, say to the righteous, it is well with him. Can somebody open your mouth and decree it is well with you? Speak to your organs, your bones and marrow. Tell them to load age, you will be stronger. It is well with my bones. My legs, you will carry me to load age. Lungs, you will behave well. Heart, you will beat right. For the punishment for our peace and well-being was put upon Jesus. We decree great is the peace of our children. We come against anything that troubles our children by the power and the name of Jesus. We decree peace be multiplied to every child. In the name of Jesus, we command every storm in every home to be made calm. In the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. And that is your experience. In the name of Jesus Christ. The victory that you enforce is the victory you will realize and walk in. Victory has been given to you, but you have the choice to enforce it or be chilled and say, okay, whatever happens, God forbid. All that Jesus Christ purchased in redemption for you and your household, you will walk in it. You will see it. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 7 to 8, that was a story of <laughs> when you say vexation happened in heaven. When heaven said enough is enough. I wonder if there are any people today that are saying enough is enough. I've watched this recurring malaria come over and over. This recurring menstrual cramp. This recurring blood ailment. The Bible says in that scripture that there was war in heaven. That the angel decided, oh, enough is enough. And they fought against the dragon. And the dragon too fought and his angels. But guess what? This is the game changer. The Bible says in the next verse that they prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. How sweet the scriptures are. That means that it does not matter for how long. That ailment has told you I'm not going to shift. It doesn't matter how long that thing has reoccurred for. In your life, in the life of your spouse, or your children, or your loved ones. God says here that it prevails not. That means it will not, even if, oh hallelujah Lord. Look at the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible says she had suffered for 12 long years. It does not matter for how long. That man at the gate, um, at the river, at the, um, at the river was there for 38 long years. Don't let the enemy lie to you that the fact that it's been long means that it's not going to change. That devil is a liar. It is when you tell yourself enough is enough. You arise like those angels in heaven to say this thing now, joke, stop him now. You know enough is enough. And when you arise, the Bible says that thing will not prevail against you guess what not only will it not prevail against you but the place it has had for 18 years 12 years 15 years in every generation in your lineage it will no longer be found uh, the bible media help me leave that scripture on the bible says its place is no longer found uh, in revelations 12 uh, that means your children will begin to ask themselves uh, where is that high blood pressure that we used to have our grandfather our great grandfather verse 8 says its place is no longer found uh, in your home uh, may this be your experience for your household in the name of Jesus that you will seek for that disease and you will not find it anymore that that weakness no 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 more addiction that polygamous and lost spirit his hold is broken and shattered you will not see it anymore hey that head that was bowed down continuously from generation to generation its place is no longer found that chain is broken i command your head to be lifted up in the name of the lord jesus the lord jesus raises you up hey as that lame man hallelujah receive strength in his ankles and bones somebody's receiving strength right now somebody's marriage is receiving strength somebody's business is receiving strength right now somebody's vision is receiving strength i decree come alive in the name of the Lord Jesus. In verse 11, it says, For they overcame, hallelujah, ah, by the blood 
blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony therefore i decree by the blood you have overcome in the name of the lord jesus christ the bible says in zechariah 9 11 to 12 as for thee also <laughs> let me put my name there as for thee also abimbala he says by the blood of the covenant by the blood of the everlasting sacrifice by the blood of my redemption god has brought me out of that pit <laughs> wherein is no water most ah rest he has not said that he has redeemed you by his blood out of every tribe and tongue out of the limitations of your family out of the household wickedness and collective captivity you have suffered in your family he said he has brought you out by the blood of jesus to reign and to dominate in this life uh, as a king and as a priest uh, he says by the blood of jesus he's brought you out of that pit what are you doing there wherein is no water but he now says you know what you can decide to stay chilled in that pit uh, and hand over that collective captivity to your children god forbid or you can rise up uh, and turn to your stronghold media you're not helping me can you please leave the scriptures on the screen uh, and turn and say hallelujah i turn to my stronghold uh, even the blood of the covenant guess what uh, it says the day you turn to your stronghold uh, and engage the blood of the sacrifice uh, and begin to war it says even today this seventh day of march 2021 god is saying he will render double recovery to you that there will be recovery in your blood system double recovery in your circulatory system double recovery regarding that pain in your back right now in the name of the lord jesus can somebody decree with me today i turn to my stronghold the blood of jesus and my strong tower the name of jesus and i am out of that pit of infirmity and affliction right now right now right now there is a double fold restoration going on in my body right now new lungs i receive new hearts i receive new blood system i receive new eyes i receive new kidneys i receive new intestines i receive every system is made new by the blood of jesus somebody turn to your stronghold even the blood of jesus speak to that situation and decree by the blood you are out of that pit by the blood a double fold restoration make a demand of it as you turn to your stronghold even the blood of the lamb thank you precious holy ghost jeremiah 118 <laughs> it says i have made you this day god has you in mind somebody say again today in the format scripture it says today there is double recovery for you here it says this day amplified classic version says this day i have made you a defense city is what KJV says. <laughs> but Amplify says a fortified city. Now your body is a city. Made up of systems and structures and organs. God is saying is fortifying your body. Every system. Every organ. But the stronghold of the blood of Jesus. And the strong tower of the name of Jesus such that they will fight against you he said ebola might try covid might try leukemia might try cancer might try but he said it's given you divine strength eh, which no hostile power can overcome there is strength in that name there is strength in the blood be released to your organs there is the energy of god being released to your organs right now making it such that any germ virus or disease that touches your body dies 
this instantly. You did not even know that cancerous cells are tempted to grow. <laughs> hey, but the energy, but the divine strength of God <laughs> lifted a standard against it. For when the enemy comes like a flood, <laughs> hey, the blood of the lamb lifts a standard. <laughs> the blood begins to roar. The blood begins to fight. Did I not pay the full price for her redemption? Did I not die her death? That's why it says in that next verse, it says they will fight against you, but it will not prevail against you. It will not prevail against you. Its place is no longer found. In the name of the Lord Jesus, on the seventh day of March 2021, hey, by the speakings of the blood of the eternal covenant, by the sacrifice of him who died and raised, was raised from the dead, we decree every sickness, every disease, every affliction, every oppression it leaves you right now, never to return. That disease you are departed, yes. Unclean spirit, you are gone. Gone now. In that name, Jesus. Rikashtalia, never to return. No reoccurring, no, no, no. No regrouping. You will not regather. The Lord has taken over those temples in this day. Father, we say thank you for deliverance in this place, for signs and wonders in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we begin to prepare for the communion, the Bible says in John chapter 6 verse 51 to 53, Jesus said, I'm the living bread which came down from heaven. He says, if any man eats of this bread, he will live forever. Watch this. And he says in the last verse that this bread is that which he will give for the life of the world. That means he's giving his own body in exchange for your own life. Dying the death that is due to you. Bearing the curses that are due to you. My favorite scripture, 1 Corinthians 5, 7, says, Even Christ, our Passover, not was, <laughs> is sacrificed for us. That means it doesn't matter what play comes against you. That blood continues to roar and say he's the living blood and begins to say I am sacrificed for her. I've taken her place in destruction. The Bible says in Mark 10, 45, For the Son of God came not to be ministered to but to give his life a ransom for many romans 5 8 to 9 for god commended his love towards us that while we were yet sinners christ died for me <laughs> much more than being justified by his blood we are saved from wrath i decree that it doesn't matter what form of wrath is poured upon the face of the earth May the blood of the eternal covenant as you turn to your stronghold deliver you and rescue you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible says in Luke 24, 16, 30 and 32. Luke 24, 16, the Bible is a very interesting story of how Jesus arose and he began to walk. He saw his disciples walking and he began to walk with them and he was talking with them. And he talked to them for so long and they did not recognize him. But it's just not that they didn't want to recognize him. Verse 16 says that their eyes were holding that they should not see him. Look at that. The holding of the eyes. You see, God has said to you that this year you will see wonders without number. In your health, in your marriage, in every area of your life. But what can, the only thing that can restrict that is the holding of the eyes. The Bible says the God of this world, please leave the scriptures there, has blinded the minds of them that believe not. That the reason why they don't believe is not because they don't want to believe, but because somebody blinded their eyes, lest the light of the gospel should flood their hearts. When the time you find people not believing, when you are struggling to say, Lord, this wonder that you're talking about, is it people like me that will still see wonders? It doesn't look like you've looked at my situation. It doesn't look like you've seen how 
how deep my problems are. The Bible says the people, the reason people don't believe is because an enemy has blinded their eyes. That's why we are holding on to Psalms 11918 to say by fire, by force, Lord, open our eyes that will behold the wonders in your word. The Bible says as Jesus began to talk to them and be Jesus began to teach them the scriptures, we are still in Luke 14 verse 30 to 32 that when Jesus sat down and broke bread with them, the Bible says their eyes were opened and they knew him. Hallelujah. Luke 24, 32. Their eyes were opened and they knew him. I decree as you come to the communion table today, everything that has covered the eyes of your understanding, I decree it is taken off you right now. Your eyes are open to see the things that have been prepared for you. He says, eyes have not seen nor ears heard. Neither has he entered into the heart of men the things that God has prepared. But they are revealed to you by the Spirit. Once your eyes see total health, guess what? You walk out on the devil. Once your eyes see victory, you walk out on the devil. Once you see preservation for you and your household, you frustrate the tokens of the enemy. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11, 24 to 25. When Jesus had given thanks, he broke it, speaking of his body now, and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Look at that again. His body was broken for you. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, he chases me, fights me till I'm found, lives the 99. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. Still, you gave yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. He says that body was broken for you. He says, do this in remembrance of me. After the same man, I took the cup. When he stopped saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. He now says in verse 26, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do do what? You show the Lord's death until he comes. What are you showing? Each time you eat and you reverence and honor that broken body and the shed blood. <laughs> you are saying, <laughs> cancer cannot kill me. My space in the grave, Jesus took it. <laughs> the curse cannot plague me. He hung on the cross for me. <laughs> My poverty has ended. <laughs> My space allocated to poverty, he took it. <laughs> He took my fall, thought of me above all. Crucified, laid behind the stone, he lived to die, rejected and alone, like a rose. Hey. You were trampled on the ground. You took my fall. Hallelujah. Thought of me. Can somebody just rise and sing that song with gratitude? Above all, crucified. You were laid behind. The stone you live to die, rejected and alone, like a rose. You were trampled on the ground. Hallelujah. You took my fall. Hallelujah. And thought of me. And thought of me, 
might be here today. Why would you choose to die the death that Jesus already died for you? Why would you choose to carry the curse you already carried for you? Why would you choose to take the fall he took in your place? If you haven't given your heart to Jesus Christ, or you need to rededicate your heart to him, we're just about to pray for the communion right now. I need you to pick up your bags and your Bible and quickly walk to the altar as we pray over our communion this morning. The Bible says still in 1 Corinthians 11, 28, I'm waiting for you. Anyone that would like to give their hearts to Jesus, just walk up straight to the altar. Or anyone that needs to rededicate their hearts to Jesus, kindly walk straight to the altar. And if you're online as well, kindly indicate on the chat and say, I'm, I'm giving my heart to Jesus. Walk up straight to the altar if you're giving your heart to the Lord or you're rededicating your heart to Jesus. Still in 1 Corinthians 11, 28 to 30, it says, let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eats and drinks unworthily eats and drinks damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak, many are sickly, and many sleep. But you see, when on the contrary you discern that body, and you begin to honor him, and say, Lord, you took my fall. You died the death that was due to me. Jesus, my ransom, I honor you. I come to eat with full assurance of faith. Instead, you will receive from the communion table. Instead of weakness, you receive strength. Remember that divine strength we saw in Jeremiah that no hostile power can withstand. Instead of sickness and ailments, you will receive total health and divine health. Instead of death and sleeping, you receive full length of your days. On this table this morning, may the Lord renew your strength. May your health be restored. May full length of days be delivered into your hands. For the covenant, every word God has spoken is ratified by the blood of Jesus. And it said with long life, he will satisfy you. And he will show you his great salvation. Father, we come today to the communion table. Thanking you for the price that you paid. For the death you died. For the sicknesses you took. For the diseases you bore. For the affliction you carried. We say thank you. This morning we bless the emblem. We thank you for the broken body. We thank you for the shed blood. As we eat today, we release our faith in this mystery. <laughs> that as we eat by faith, there is the opening of the eyes of our understanding to behold the wonders in your word. Uh, every blind eye will pop open. Every deaf ear will pop open. Every dullness of heart will receive understanding. We receive mental alertness for our children children we command mental alertness we forbid that any child will be dull in learning and understanding we command quickened intellect retentive memory soundness of mind uh, upon this communion table lord we speak life uh, eh, to every organ as a result of this broken body we receive strength upon this table lord we release our faith uh, as we eat right now we bless the bread we break it we thank you for it and we eat with full assurance of faith uh, decreeing that the last ailment we saw is the last we will ever see let this be performed speedily with signs and wonders following in jesus mighty name we pray you may eat of the lord's body He says, turn you to your stronghold. Once again, somebody decree, I turn to my stronghold. The blood of Jesus. And my strong tower. The name of Jesus. And I command double recovery of all that was lost. Health be restored. Strength be renewed. Mind be quickened. Finances arise. 
my house receive life my children be quickened my mandate be fulfilled in the name of the lord jesus father by reason of the blood sacrifice speaking mercy speaking victory speaking health speaking redemption speaking preservation speaking full length of days we drink of the lord's blood let this blood speak redemption for each one of us right now we decree every long-standing problem has come to an end on this table because of the blood sacrifice we decree your children are ransomed from death they are rescued from the power of the grave they will not see terror by night they will not see the arrows that fly by day they will not see pestilence that walks in darkness they will not see destruction at noonday a thousand will fall at their side ten thousand at their right hand it will not come near them we secure full length of days by the power of the blood of jesus we secure the peace of our children by the power of the blood of jesus we speak life to our businesses by the power of the blood of jesus we speak life to marriages uh, by the power of the blood of Jesus father we decree on this altar that every bitter water is made sweet let this be seen in marriages let this be seen in businesses that you've turned every bitter experience into sweetness because of the blood and so we toast to victory thank you precious father in Jesus mighty name you may drink of the blood of the Lamb. Can somebody just begin to rejoice in the finished work? Begin to thank the Lord for the blood that has ransomed you. Somebody say, thank you, Lord, for the blood that has rescued me. The blood that has freed me. Oh, thank you for the blood. <laughs> thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. We give you praise and glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Somebody honor the Lord. Bless him. Bless him. Say thank you, Lord, for the word that has come to us. How we are grateful. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Go ahead and stretch your hands toward Pastor Bimbo in a moment. And say, Father, we thank you for the word that has come from the lips of your handmaiden. Father, we ask for refreshing in the name of Jesus. Strengthen her in the, in the name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. All right. Please go ahead and take a seat. This is the time in the service when we come with our givings, our tithes and our offerings. As you begin to prepare, I'd like to show you a parallel from the Old Testament and of the New. Genesis chapter 8, verse 20 to 22. Just so you see that your tithes, your offerings, your givings, these are part of your altar. And Noah built an ark unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Go ahead and begin to prepare if you're online. The giving details are on the screens before you. And the Lord smelt a sweet savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite anymore every living thing as I have done. And here's the promise. It says, while the earth remains, seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Here's the parallel in the New Testament for you. Philippians chapter 4 verse 15 to 18. It says, Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica, ye sent once again unto my necessity, not because I desired a gift, but I desired fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Epaphroditus the things which are sent from you, 
You remember we read this in the Old Testament. It says, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice, acceptable, well-pleasing to God. So when we give, it's not out of fear or out of the law. It's out of honor and out of love for God. So when you give to the gospel, you're giving to no man. You're giving to the work that God has ordained before the foundations of time that the whole world might be saved. If you're a tither in this house, I have a commandment to bless you. Please go ahead and stand up, not because you're being showy, but you are responsive and you're ready to receive. All tithers, go ahead. I have a commandment to bless you this morning. Father, I thank you that you are the covenant-making and the covenant-keeping God. Over your people today, I declare that you that they bring their tithes in honor and love for you. Jesus, our great high priest, I want you to lift your hands. Lift your hands, lift your hands ready to receive. You have, Jesus, the power of an endless life. Let this power speak for them in the name of Jesus. I declare that according to your word and blessing, they are blessed. I declare that in protection, in honor, in favor, in strength, Lord, in their going out, in their coming in, that your word preserves them in the name of Jesus, that your blood is speaking for them. We declare that you will satisfy them and increase the fruit of their labor in the name of Jesus. We declare that you will increase the fruit of their righteousness in the name of Jesus. Let their eyes see glorious things in your word. Let their vocations, Father, expand into abounding grace in the name of Jesus. Let the honor that they have brought before your house today and in time, Father, speak for them. Let the same honor return upon them in the name of Jesus. Let grace super abound in all good things at all times in the name of Jesus let every necessity in their lives be met with the supernatural with the wisdom of God in Jesus name we pray let them be so blessed that they become the envy of their neighbors that they become the envy of the nations of the world around them in the name of Jesus church I said I have a commandment to bless they will lack for no good thing in the name of Jesus, as they bring their tithes and their offerings and their givings and their sacrifices, we declare, Lord Jesus, that your word is true concerning them. The best of the land, the milk, the butter, Father God, the best of the contracts, the best of the industries, we affirm it, Lord, by your word in the name of Jesus, we pray. Go ahead and take a seat and please pass your givings. Father, we thank you for those who are giving online. Those who are giving their offerings today. We declare that they are more blessed in giving than in receiving. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Welcome, Pastor Dan, sing for the furtherance of service. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Kenny. Hallelujah. Please look to the screen for the media announcement as your offering is going on. Media. Theme of the month of March, the wonder-working power of God's word. Pilot text, open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. Psalm 119 verse 18. There will be a rebroadcast of today's service on all our social media platforms by 5 p.m. Enjoy a most refreshing time in God's presence as you play back. We are so sure that you are tremendously blessed in this year's edition of Reha IC. You can still be blessed by doing the playback of any session you missed, all sessions are available on our social media handles. You can still send your testimonies, pictures and short videos of your favorite moments that you captured. Kindly remember to use the hashtags, hashtag RehaIC2021, hashtag God of Wonder and hashtag Logic. Wonders is indeed our reality. 
Fast Track classes for both membership and Believers Foundation class has commenced. Register at the Russell Dex before you leave, if you have not already done so. Ignite City Center's ICC resumes this month. All facilities being used are strict on COVID-19 protocols and are equipped to serve accordingly. There's an opportunity for you to host a center in your home, office or facility. Kindly see Pastor Raf after service if you want to volunteer your space for ICC Center. Humber certificates and diploma classes resume this month. Pick your registration form at the foyer or see Dr. James Okorafo after service for further inquiry. Our website www.rogic.org is also open for registration for baby naming, baby dedication and premarital classes. Click the registration menu, select the form you want to fill, fill and submit on the same platform. Kindly also note that premarital classes will commence next Sunday, the 14th of March and it is mandatory for every dating couple in Logic. Postmarital classes also commence on Sunday, the 14th of March. Please note that all classes are online. You can also listen to all Reha IC 2021 messages on our Logic website www.logic.org hash media on Logic platform on Logic podcast Sunday service our first service starts at 7.30am and our second double portion service commences at 9.30am on Sundays be a blessing to someone by inviting him or her for our celebration service this Sunday Box Shuttle will be available to ply Area 1, Beggar and Lupe Access at the close of service today. Please do well to use the Box Shuttle maximally. Thank you. See you on Wednesday for our Word and Worship service by 5.45pm. Wonders 2021 is indeed a reality. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges? career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodhart's OB equipment. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one, and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rogic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodhart's O Equipment, on Instagram at Apostle Goodhart, and on Facebook at Apostle Goodhart, the global prophetic prayer altar, the surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We receive. There must be a relationship between God and you, not just as master and subject lord and subject you must have a relationship that goes beyond god is god to god is my father so at the point where you are born again uh you don't have to uh, fast for 21 days try you know just to get the holy ghost uh, repent of all the sins your ancestors committed to get the holy ghost you know you, 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 no 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 light has come and today as a child of god or as a will be child of god as you turn your heart to jesus you are going to invite the holy ghost in your life to baptize you somebody said yes praise the lord can you celebrate Roger media for that wonderful um, please listen to this. All those who collected the autographed new book of Apostle Good at Succeeding God's Way should please remit to Zenith Bank account of Kingdom of Air Force Partners. And the ushers presently have like 10 additional autographed books uh, that you can use to partner with Apostle Good at, uh, at the moment. If you know you didn't do that uh, last Sunday, can you just wave? You want to connect with Apostle Good at, let the ushers get to you with the 10, there are 10 books right now that he autographed 
that you can want to partner with him with and say, I want to partner with Apostle Goodhart. Can you raise your hand wherever you are? Hallelujah. I can see that hand. Okay. Ushers, please. Just, just 10. There are just 10 left. Let's have it all wrapped up in this service. I can see that hand. Please, Usher, look of Yeah, that hand is raised up. Please thank God. Please, just 10. Just 10 people. I will have that all wrapped up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you make today your first service in Rogic, online or on site, on site you can pick up whatever you have and just rise up wherever you are right now. This is your first service in a Rogic service. Please, we want to celebrate you. You are an answer to prayer. And you are there online, please also just click and let us know that you're here for the first time. You're in, oh my God, thank God. Please celebrate him. Celebrate all those that are here for the first time. You can take that stuff. You take your stuff and just move out. We have a special uh, way of welcoming you. Please celebrate this one. They are answers to prayers. Please, can you come out and you follow the pastor to, to the back. Hallelujah. Keep clapping as they come out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, can you rise up for our home declaration? Media is there. Let's do this by faith. Wherever you are, look to the screen as we take our home declaration. One, two, go. I'm born again by the incorruptible seed of God's word. Though I am in the word, I'm not of the word system. I have victory by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I am called and empowered by God to be salt of the earth and light of the world. Because I am from above, I exercise dominion, rulership, and authority over every earthly affair. My entire life, choices, and decisions are guided by the integrity of God's word. I am what God's word says I am, and I can do what God's word says I can do. I am crucified with Christ. I no longer live for self and self-interest, but for Christ. Passionate worship is an expression of gratitude for my inheritance in Christ. I live in the consciousness of eternity. Therefore, I walk daily in the reverential fear of God. I am a loved child of a loved God. I am accepted in the beloved. The love of God is shed abroad in my heart. Therefore, I express God's love freely to others. I am a person of excellence, integrity, and character. I live to bring glory to God by the workings of the spirit of excellence in my personal life. My life and heart is set ablaze with passion and zeal for Christ. I am a soul winner, and I delight in the sharing the love of Christ in my word. I make fervent prayers and study of the word of God top priority in my life. God's grace is abundantly sufficient for me to finish the journey of life well. As I seek God's kingdom daily, all my needs and provisions for life are met supernaturally. I am blessed by God to be a blessing to my generation. Can you look at someone and say, I am blessed by God to be a blessing to my generation. Tell that person, say, you are blessed by God to be a blessing to your generation. Heavenly Father, we thank you for that which you've done here this morning. We thank you because your blood your name has secured us in the land of the living. We thank you that as we depart this day, your presence go with us. We declare in the name of Jesus that no evil shall befall us this week. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, 
We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the name. For it is indeed a strong tower. The righteous run into it and we are safe. We are safe from the evil of this week. In the matchless name of Jesus. Thank you everlasting father. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Can you share the grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us. Now and forevermore. Amen. Choose a partner and say surely. God's goodness and his mercies shall follow you all the days of your life. As you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. In Jesus name. Amen. Have a wonderful year, a day ahead. One way to please God, which is obvious, is to respond appropriately to his love shown to you. It's not enough to sing of his love, to dance about his love, to talk about his love, to jump about his love. We need to scripturally huh, respond appropriately to the love of God. If you love God, you will also respond. Number two, number two, you respond by loving his children, the saints, believers. You will respond to the love of God in bringing pleasure and delight by naturally hating what he hates and loving what he loves. As you read through scriptures, there are certain things the Bible says God hates and there are certain things he loves. Kingdom service is an expression of love. God is jealous over his house, his church, the kingdom. He says seek first the kingdom, Matthew 6, 3, 3, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. When we love him, we'll love his house and seek to serve his house will be zealous about his house Revival is here again. Wealthy with means and palace and Five minutes, one word of encouragement, or a word of prayer, I get up. Always precedes and preceded resurrection. There can be no resurrection except there is first and foremost a death and a burial, and then all the people. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, 
indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodheart Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus 1 and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus 1. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rojic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodheart O Ikweme. On Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. The surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We receive.